Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 8th through January 14th weekly reading. This is a general reading. I will be doing a general reading next. I want to thank you for your patience um, and for the people that did not say uh, where's Gemini. I did have somebody do that and unfortunately I removed them. They will have to create another account because divine timing is definitely an issue for every single person. Um, so yeah, this is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. What take what resonates and just leave the rest because it's not a private reading. And this is general energies. We'll do a love reading next. I know I probably repeated myself, but okay. Let me just make sure that this is focused in. You know, it looks like it could be an exciting week. I mean, you're being called to act on your hunches. Um, really, I think there's, that you're starting something new. You could have some new idea that comes into your head. You could be receiving a message this week that sparks some kind of excitement. Um, I feel like you're really taking the time to focus on what you want. You, it's a, it's like you've your confidence, your courage, your inner being, your inner wellness, your inner self, your awareness. You know, all that's coming into play this week. It's like you're 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 uh, thinking about your future and you're taking taking the steps to um, follow your own path. You know, whereas I feel like you've been in a period of, uh, what's the word, stalemate, stalling, you know, where you had stalled. Maybe you felt like quitting or you felt like you couldn't move any move forward. It feels like this is a week of, you know, encouragement. I see that you guys are, are really moving forward. I think there's been some immature energies around you, maybe with children or somebody that you're dealing with. And it feels like you're taking a stand and you're just like pushing past that immature energy and you're just like, you're not even letting that immaturity bring you down. Um, you know, it feels like there's some kind of blockage here. Maybe you're just blocking out these people. You're blocking out the negative, you know. There's, there's definitely a blockage, whether you're blocking somebody out of your real life physically, you know, or whatever, on social media, there's definitely some kind of blockage here. And it could be one of your family members, okay? But you're doing it for your own good. It's like you see this, you see, you're seeing things clearly now. It's like, you know, if you can't support us or you can't support this relationship or you can't support this growth or this whatever, whatever it is, then I guess we're just going to have to remove you from this situation, something like that. Um, it feels like you guys are really focusing on you this week. It's just, I'm focusing on making things better. Okay. There's no kind of, there's no confusion here. I need to make things better and I'm going to remove this drama from your life, from my life. Okay. Because it feels like there's been some kind of drama and you're just letting it go. I'm, I'm not going to be involved in this anymore. Something like that. Um, it feels to me like the storm is like almost over. Okay. The storm is almost over there. There's definitely some type of relationship problems where the children, it has to do with children. For some of you, this has to do with children. Children are leaving. They're leaving your home or something like that. It's like, there's something to do with children where there's some kind of, um, argument okay there's some kind of argument with children here and I, that's for somebody I'm sure it's not for everybody um, but there's definitely something to do with that for somebody prominently that has to do with children um, there is uh, it's a time of solitude it's a time of stillness it's a time to step back and focus okay and that's exactly what you're doing it's like we're going to take a time out right now it's, it's time for a timeout. You do what you need to do to reflect on your decisions, and I'm going to do what I need to do to reflect on mine, okay? So this is a family dynamic, okay, for somebody that's watching this. It's like, 
it's like uh, maybe three against one, something like that. You know, it's weird. It's weird. But you're you're being called to to really nip it in the bud, and that's what you're doing. And you're really doing it out of love, even if it's tough love. Okay, so you're really you're really uh, acting out of love, even though these children's immaturity may not see that. Okay. <laughs> very interesting this is a general reading okay you're acting out of love even though I think it's tough love I see I think there's tough love here um, because you're trying to end a situation that has been kind of there's been some arguments there's been some family disagreements and the only way to nip it in the in the bud is to to end it to to remove the drama remove it no longer engage we're going to get some clarification here. Um, we're going to get care of clarification over here with this Page of Cups reversed next to this Four of Swords reversed. You know, there's a this really does lead to, um, after this timeout that you guys go through, it's going to lead to the reflection that somebody's going to take the time to reflect on their actions that they need. Okay, so just rest assured that you are making the right decision. Um, because a timeout is definitely needed. There's no doubt about it. It's like there, there. It's a. It's really a gift, even though you don't know it is. It's. It's like um, somebody needs. Somebody needs to be able to learn their own lessons. Okay, and it's really a gift, even though you don't think that it is. They need to focus. They need to grow up. Somebody needs to grow up. And you giving them their space is what it will take for them to learn, okay? So you, this, I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to give uh, somebody some space so that they can learn their own lessons, okay? Um, and they need to learn to, to take care of themselves, all right? Somebody needs to learn how hard it is to take care of themselves. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Love reading coming up next. <laughs> This isn't a love reading. This is obviously regarding family. Uh, tough love. Tough love. Whoa! That one went flying. I don't know how it resonates, but we're going to read it and find out. The card is joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Oh, it makes sense now. It's a gift. You're offering somebody a gift by giving them space and letting them learn their own lessons, believe it or not. There's tough love here, and it is a gift. Okay? I'm going to finish reading it now. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. <coughs> I believe that many of you are involved in a tough situation right now with somebody in your family. You know, children, I believe. You know, and this could be mothers, could be your parents, you could be the child. Either way, it can go either way, or it could be your children, you know. There's some kind of tough family dynamics where somebody needs space and they need to learn their own lessons. And by you allowing to do them to do that, you are actually giving them a gift and you need to look at it like that, okay. So you need to take joy in knowing that you're doing the right thing for whoever this is. Even though I feel like... It hurts. Okay, there's tough love here, and by and you you might even have to just um, break away. You know, you might have to break away from somebody. You know, for a time being, and rest assured, it won't be a, forever. Somebody needs to re to gain their maturity maturity and learn their lessons. Um, and all you can do is is let that happen. This is what I have, Gemini, for your general reading. I am going to do your love reading next. <laughs> 